was Skyping with my mom one night. I complained to her about the lack of time. And she replied to me, you are short of time because you waste precious minutes on complaints and anxiety. Then I recognize no matter how full your schedule is, if you try really hard, you can always do something more. Three years ago, I came to RGP. With much curiosity and passion in mind, I realized there are so many differences between the school in China and Rolling House Pride. Instead of going home at 8 p.m. after school in China, here I'm dismissed at 3.30 every day and then do whatever I like. However, more time away from studying led to my indolence and eventually to procrastination. During my freshman year, I could always finish my homework in 30 minutes. Because of that, I put off doing my homework until Sunday night. The strategy may have worked for me for the first two years, but as my classes got harder, I felt overstressed, especially when I could not balance the classwork and college applications due to the lack of time. This year, procrastination has really caused me anxiety. I applied to more than 10 colleges. But as I didn't manage my time properly, everything was due at the same time. With four days to go, I had five essays to start on. Meanwhile, I also had my big English paper to write. With all the anxiety in mind, I had no idea how to even finish my application. The closer to the deadline, the more disordered my mind became. I regretted not starting earlier. The lack of time is just an excuse for my negligence of every single minute. And I believe that the line separates success and failure can be expressed in five words. There is not enough time. In fact, I do have the same amount of hours per day as Albert Einstein and Tom Jefferson did. But I have never touched upon the real meaning of life to seize and enjoy every minute. Time is the most valuable of all our possessions. Once I make full use of every moment, I believe my words will be gradually be cut down to nothing. Spending time on complaining solves nothing. It is similar to an experiment about filling the jar. If you place a dozen full-sized rocks and a bucket of gravel into a jar, there is still space for sand and water between the rock and gravel. Whenever I feel the temptation to procrastinate in the future, I will tell myself, seize the day, make every moment come. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Vanici, you are the teacher who is always pushing me forward and challenging myself. Thank you for all your help on my English. Ms. Taylor, Thank you for all your help on improving my writings and college essays. Ms. Holloway, I miss your English class so much. Thank you for helping me to become a better writer. Ms. Rudolph, I'm really lucky to have you as my teacher in the last year of high school. You always have a big smile on your face whenever I saw you. I'll miss you so much when I go to college. Ms. Carr, you are the most responsible teacher I've ever seen. I really enjoy your calculus class and thank you for always sharing your bagels. <laughs> Mr. Flomini, perspective is the best lesson I learned from you. Mr. Wilkins, thank you for being my advisor in the last four years. Michelle Mao, it's been two years that I live with you. You are always there whenever I need help. I couldn't imagine my life without your support in America. Thank you for making me feel like another home. I love you so much. And I will try to wake up earlier the next morning. <laughs> Stacy, you are my first friend in RHP and always a good listener. I hope you can find a boyfriend in college. <laughs> Kathleen, thank you for being the best roommate ever and I won't forget the time when we could do duck dumplings together. I can't believe we have seen so much together. Thank you for your company. Class of 2018, it was my pleasure to meet each one of you. We almost made it. Mom, I'm sorry that I always annoy you and steal your clothes, but you know that I love you so much. 
Dad, you are the person who are always supporting me in my back no matter what. I'm so proud to be your daughter and one day I'll make you proud. Thank you.